the trigger when nuclear weapons use is ever put into play? Uh, nuclear weaponry, of course, would be uh, the be-all, end-all of just too many people in too many parts of our planet, so those dangerous regimes, again, cannot be allowed to acquire nuclear weapons, period. Our nuclear weaponry here in the U.S. is used as a deterrent, and that's a safe, stable way to use nuclear weaponry. But for those countries, uh, North Korea also under Kim Jong-il, we have got to make sure that we're putting the economic sanctions on these countries and that we have friends and allies supporting us in this to make sure that leaders like Kim Jong-il and uh, uh, Ahmadinejad are not allowed to acquire, to proliferate, or to use those nuclear weapons. It is that important. Can we talk about Afghanistan real quick also, though? Sure. Okay, okay, I'd like to just really quickly uh, mention there, too, that uh, when, you, when you look back and you say that the Bush administration's policy on Afghanistan perhaps would be the same as, as McCain, and, and that's not accurate, the surge principles, not the exact strategy, but the surge principles that have worked in Iraq need to be implemented in Afghanistan also, and that perhaps would be a difference with the Bush administration. Now, Barack Obama had said that all we're doing in Afghanistan is air raiding villages and killing civilians. And such a reckless, reckless comment, an untrue comment, again, hurts our cause. That's not what we're doing there. We're fighting terrorists and we're securing democracy and we're building schools for children there so that there is opportunity in that country also. There will be a big difference there and we will win at, in Afghanistan also. Senator, Thanks. you may talk about nuclear use if you like and also about Afghanistan. I'll talk about both. With Afghanistan, facts matter, Gwen. The fact is that our commanding general in Afghanistan said today that a surge, the surge principles used in Iraq will not, well, let me say this again now. Our commanding general in Afghanistan said the surge principle in Iraq will not work in Afghanistan. Not Joe Biden, our commanding general in Afghanistan. He said we need more troops, we need government building, we need to spend more money on the infrastructure in Afghanistan. Look. We have spent more money, we spent more money in three weeks on combat in Iraq than we spent on the entirety of the last seven years that we have been in Afghanistan building that country. Let me say it again. Three weeks in Iraq, seven years, seven years or six and a half years in Afghanistan. Now that's number one. Number two, with regard to arms control and weapons, nuclear weapons, require a nuclear arms control regime. John McCain voted against the comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty that every Republican has supported. John McCain is opposed amending the nuclear test ban treaty with an amendment to allow for inspections. John McCain has not been, has not been the kind of supporter for dealing with, and by the way, let me put it another way, my time's almost up. Barack Obama, first thing he did when he came to the United States Senate, new senator, reached across the aisle to my colleague Dick Luger, Republican, and said, we've got to do something about keeping nuclear weapons out of the hands of terrorists. They put together a piece of legislation that in fact was serious and real. Every major, I shouldn't say every, on the two at least that I named, I know that John McCain has been opposed to extending the arm control regime in the world. Governor. Well, first, McClellan did not work in Afghanistan, certainly accounting for different conditions in that different country, and conditions are certainly different. We have NATO allies helping us, for one, and even the geographic differences are huge. But the counterinsurgency principles also could work in Afghanistan. McClellan didn't say anything opposite of that. The counterinsurgency strategy going into Afghanistan, clearing holding, rebuilding the civil society and the infrastructure can work in Afghanistan. And um, those leaders who are over there who have also been advising George Bush on this have not said anything different but that. Senator. Well, um, our commanding general did say that. Uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, Again, I'll just put in perspective, while Barack and I and Chuck Hale and Dick Luger have been calling for more money to help in Afghanistan, more troops in Afghanistan, John McCain was saying two years ago, quote, the reason we don't read about Afghanistan anymore in the paper, it succeeded. Barack Obama was saying we need more troops there. Again, we spend in three weeks on combat missions in Iraq more than we spent in the entire time we have been in Afghanistan. 
that will change in the Barack Obama administration. Senator, you have quite a record, this is the next question here, of being an interventionist. You have argued for intervention in Bosnia and Kosovo initially.